Hello there. The weather for half term week continues to frustrate some, but it's been glorious for others. West has certainly been best. And actually on Wednesday, it was the warmest day of the year so far in Scotland, just shy of 25 degrees, 77 Fahrenheit. Once again, though, along that east coast of Scotland and England, it was cool and grey at times. And that's because the high pressure is centred to the far northwest and with the wind direction swinging round in a clockwise, it's always going to be driving in cloud off that chilly North Sea. So Thursday we start off rather grey and gloomy, damp enough for some drizzle in the southeast. But already out to the west, the sunshine will come through and into the afternoon. Once again, we have those contrasts. Southwest England, Wales, the West Midlands, the South Coast, dry, sunny and warm. East Anglia, east of the Pennines, cool and breezy at times. More sunshine though to the west of the Pennines, across into Northern Ireland and for Western Scotland. Once again, we're likely to see those temperatures peaking in the low 20s. So really it's going to be a tale of two halves. Now where we've got the best of the sunshine, that's where we'll have the highest of the pollen. It's grass pollen as well at this time of year, low to moderate, particularly on that east coast. Now the high pressure just drifts a little bit further east and we'll see some subtle, but that will mean more sunshine coming through on Friday. Slightly drier air, slightly lighter winds and yes, a good deal of dry, settled sunny weather for all. It will still feel cooler along that exposed east coast, but you'll have the sunshine to go with it, which will hopefully compensate. And once again, in sheltered western areas away from that cool breeze, we'll see highs into the low 20s. The weekend will see that high pressure continuing to try to push its way steadily eastward. So some subtle differences continue. If you're heading off to the beaches, certainly west is best once again with those temperatures into the low 20s. But along that east coast, we'll have some sunshine as we head into the weekend, but just that little bit fresher because we still continue to see that breeze coming from the northeast. And guess what? As we head into early next week, there's very little in the way of change. Largely dry, the warmest and the driest of the weather out to the west. Take care.